Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, arrays in structures and the memory allocation. Here, concept arrays in structures. Arrays in structures. See here, first when we use arrays in structures means, so first I will show one structure with structure type struct student here it is a student details suppose student number next one student name see student name is a character array student name is a character array but remember this is not array character array means what in C language we can call it as a string right. So, here it is arrays means suppose student marks, student marks of 4 subjects suppose consider this is this is arrays in structures, arrays in structures concept and here how the memory will be allocated. For example, I want to store 3 student records here struct student array variable we are creating array variable s of 3. So, here it is s is a array array variable which holds 3 records of student type this is a student type. Now, here we are allocating the memory we are allocating the memory to this array s the base address is will be stored into variable s will be stored into variable s and now here we need to store records all these three records get memory allocation separately student number student name and student marks here one is for student number second one is for student name student name next one student marks so, like the total 3 records memory allocation. Suppose here base address consider 2000 and here it is a 3000 and 4000. Here it is 2000 will go and store. It is pointing to this one. This is S of 0th record and next one here it is a 3000. It is S of 1 record and next one here it is a 4000 and it is S of 2 record. So, total 3 records, but here student number we can store here, student name will be stored here, but student marks, student marks means what it is not a one mark, here it is array, that array size is a 4 and student marks is an array variable which is holding address of this array. So, it gets memory allocation separately, so for these 4 marks, here it is again memory will be allocated marks of 0, 1, 2, 3. Suppose here base address consider 5000, 5000 will store here and in the same way for each record here it is marks array will get memory allocation separately like this and suppose base address is a 6000 here we are storing and it is connection and is a 7000 it will be connected from here. Now, so means what S marks is a array variable and we know that array variable always holds a base address only, base address. So, here if you want to read that first record, so here look at this S of 0 dot S number, S of 0 dot S number, this is the location and this is S of 0 dot S name, but look at this location S of 0 dot s marks of 0 s of 0 dot s marks of 0 and s of 0 dot s marks of 1 s of 0 dot s marks of 2 s of 0 dot s marks of 3 like this. So, total 2 loops required outer loop and inner loop outer loop is representing record number 
inner loop is representing marks of each record. Inner loop repeats 4 times with the value 0, 1, 2, 3 and that is representing that record of a first one only. In the same way, all the records get memory allocation in a arrays in a structures concept. This is how the memory will be allocated in arrays in structures. For example, if you write any integer array or float array or double array inside the structure and if you want to read more than one record or if you want to process more than one record, this is how the memory will be allocated and this is how we have to identify the locations to perform read operations and write operations. Okay? So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.